Howdy, and welcome to the Feed Bandit Podcast, where we talk all things hunting and introduce you to the most innovative hunting gear and services. Here are your hosts, Jimmy Byrne and Richard Kinchlow. Howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Feed Bandit Podcast. Jimmy here, and I'm joined by Richard, joining us from a undisclosed secret location on this one. <laughs> Not on Sketches. That's but. right. <laughs> and, uh, that's right. J- John has a long moustache. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I, I joined the uh, the mask resistance party, so we're uh, I'm behind enemy lines right now, infiltrating. You know, actually, I, I lied. I have not done that. I'm actually sitting in an abandoned office complex, looking like a a very depressed businessman, and uh, you know, who's on his lunch break, sitting in his truck in the shade, trying to get away from work. So there you go. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, me. like we talk about on the podcast, uh, we, people, we hope folks listen in and uh, hopefully we can help them do the same, you know, when they're listening, get their minds off their, their day job, if they don't enjoy it at least. So, <laughs> you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me know if, y'all, if, if you're interested in finding a place that you, know, you can go and just relax and not be pestered in Plano, holler at me. Yeah, you, you found, <laughs> found a beautiful parking lot for that? <laughs> I, I did. I did. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Well, today we have a special guest on. We have Aaron Gilbreth, the owner of Tank Blind Outdoor Products. Uh, we had Aaron on, I guess we had you on way back on episode 33 last. It was about a year ago, a little over a year ago. Year? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We just wanted to have you back on and, uh, you know, remind the folks about uh, well, what you have going on and uh, welcome back to the podcast. Yeah. Well, thanks, Jimmy. Uh, appreciate you having me back. And yeah, <laughs> time flies, you know, one year and you know, you you go from making a couple hundred units a year up to over 500 in the midst of the virus. Woo! Wow! Uh, wow! You know, I'm just uh, you know, I'm just glad that word's spreading and people like y'all are uh, spreading the good word and and that's that's what our business runs off of is um, I would probably say probably the same statistic as last year is 60 to 70 percent is you know word of mouth or seeing one in person that a friend has and. Right. And, uh, that's just it you know once you see one and get in one and hunt out of one it's it's a no-brainer you know you don't have to worry about ever maintenancing it no bugs you know it's watertight you know our oldest blind now is about four years old uh there's no fading there's no issues there's no cracks you know a lot of i get some competitors that oh oh tank blinds oh, this is a flimsy product and you know, I guess when you're getting bashed by other companies, it's it's just a sign that you're doing better than they are. And, and I'm not trying to toot my own <laughs> horn or anything, but, so, you know, it's just, that's just, I'll have customers that come to my shop and they say, oh, so-and-so at this shop was telling us how bad the product is and we can't figure that out why they would say that, you know, because yeah. they're in there banging around on their blind in the, in the shop, seeing how stout they are, how thick the walls are right. and the, in the roof and, and uh you know it, it every everything from the shell that's almost a half inch thick which is you know a lot of people still think these are used water tanks or septic tanks <laughs> they're not they're right. completely designed for the tank line but you know they're two to three times as thick as your water tank you'll see at home depot or tractor supply and you know just down from the window guards that are they're actually rain diverters and most companies just have drip edges uh, we we still you know we still are quality before quantity, even though we're making double right. the amount. My my staff is is tripled, so wow. uh, to accommodate. Excellent, so we, man. Yeah, that is that is yeah. amazing. Uh, that, you, like you said, you're doing it right now, and what everything going on uh, to be able to do that is a testament, obviously, to to the product oh, yeah. that you're you're making. Yeah, I was surprised you said some competitors have said claim that your stuff is flimsy i don't see how that's possible but <laughs> it's Wait, just amazing but yeah you know, you know it, it's gonna have happen <laughs> yeah yeah well you know and, and i i'd like to bring that up because I'll, I'll tell you you know when when we talked to you about a year ago uh that truthfully that was one of my one of my concerns is and have being completely ignorant to your product uh i thought to myself and, and jimmy and i were discussing man this would be great. We'll pick up five or six of these tank lines uh, because, you know, clearly we would just be able to, to lift them up like you see on the cartoons and, and do little scrambler feet and move to a different location. Uh, you know, I, I was under the impression that they were just a kind of a, a hard plastic shell. 
Um, and so because of that, I was a little worried about the wind and all that. And I think you came back and said, oh, no, 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 no. These things are, these things are heavy duty. They've got to be that way, uh, you know, just to, just to withstand all the Texas elements. So, so that was something that really was like a, um, it was a shock to me. I, I had absolutely no idea. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And, yeah ahead, you know, sorry. the average, oh, I was just saying that, yeah, the average blind is, about 750 pounds, but uh, that sounds maybe heavy to a lot of people, but really for two guys, when they're on the skid system, um, it's really easily managed and able to move it, load it on a trailer. And you have to understand these, these are one size fits all. It's 45 square feet. And a lot of people just don't understand the, what a 45 square foot blind is. I mean, that's like a eight by six that has octagon squared off uh, sides, like a lot of blinds. I mean, because you're losing basically, you know, one and a half square feet on each corner. Uh, and right. with our blind, it's circular. You don't lose any floor space. So right. it's seven yeah. over seven and a half feet in diameter, and it's a big blind. And for its size, it's it's stout, but it's manageable. I mean, it's 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 really not yeah. uh, all that heavy. But yeah, I still yeah. have. You know, my ranch is up in the panhandle. Oh, I don't know. We've got about 13 blinds up there. And, and you know, I've got some on a two-foot skid system. They're not anchored down out in the open. And we get right. serious, serious winds up there. This is around oh, yeah. uh, between Amarillo and Childress on oh, yeah. the uh, Oklahoma-Texas line. And yep. we, you know, they're they're just made to withstand all the elements. And you can leave it locked up and shut with your window shut for six, seven, eight months and know that it's still going to smell like new carpet when you get in it. And I and right. I, I have a blind. I have several blinds that are three years old. And I'll get in there, and it still smells like the new carpet. And that's how air <laughs> tight oh, yeah. There's no wow. dust. And, wow. Well, and, and, and that, that's great because let, let, let's face it. You know, a lot of the folks that, that you sell to, a lot of the folks that, you know, that, that we talk to, you know, they're, they're people who have got hunting leases or, you know, ra- hunting ranches, whatever they want to call it. They're not out there full time, you know, and, 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 and they're of the opinion that if they can, they can, if they're going to buy something for recreation, you know, and they're only going to be in it a handful of times during the season, you know, they want that thing to last forever. You know, nothing is more, nothing is more frustrating than coming back in, you know, in, in, in September, because is when a lot of guys will do it. September of the early summer and, and, and looking up there and, and seeing the dreaded, uh-oh, I don't see a reflection, meaning that the window is open, <laughs> uh-huh. and that you've had, you've had a whole family of owls in there who <laughs> who have destroyed the mice in and around that blind, and it filled the thing up you know, halfway with owl dropping. I tell you this much, yeah. when, I was, when I was a kid, <laughs> and I still do, I have a horrible I have a great sense of smell, but I mean, anything will just get me gagged. <laughs> and I got to the point where I was the official owl crap scooper in our big wooden blinds. That's because the windows would always block. And I, <laughs> yeah. I would have killed, would have killed to have a tank blind back in the day because uh, let me tell you, man, it just got really old. Now, I'll, I'll tell you what's even worse about it, not only scooping their droppings away, is when I got to high school and college and I would sometimes have a, one or two adult beverages, i climb up that stairs, a little steady, not so much on my feet, and then have a gigantic barred owl fly out of there. I mean, that, 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 that scares the crap out of you, you know? <laughs> so anyway, oh, yeah, yeah. there's something to be said about owl-proof, bug-proof blinds, for sure. And sound. Right? Uh, absolutely, yeah. And I've been there. I've had a couple of blinds that were, I mean, I'm not going to name the companies, but just the way the window system and he had these little covers, these off-season covers that slot, you know, would slide down this aluminum tracking, and the wind and vibration would either blow them halfway out or all the way out, and they were just plexiglass windows on the inside of that. And you know, fighting owls off was a constant battle. In dirt daubers, yellow jackets, and you know, most guys that I talk to now are a little more established. They've, they're mm-hmm. married. They've got two or three kids or they've got grandkids now and they want to take them hunting and have them have an enjoyable experience. And there's nothing worse than one of them getting stung by a yellow jacket right. or laying in a oh, rotted yeah. floor full of mouse, uh, shredded shavings and mouse nests. 
uh, you know, it just, it's like you're hunting in a, in a small little condo basically mm-hmm. out in the woods and, and who doesn't want to be comfortable? I, you know, the, for the guys that say, Oh, that's, uh, that's not hunting or that's not, that's, that eliminates the, the whole aspect of hunting. I'm like, well, you know, maybe for 1%, but I know most of us, I've been in the tripod and freezing rain and wind and cold and, um, you know, I've done it and I've been right. there and I can say I did it and I'm, I'm okay with taking a step back and being comfortable when I'm hunting. <laughs> well, you know, for someone, for someone who says that, I'd probably say, you know, I bet you if you ask someone from the 1920s or something like about, uh, you know, Hey, we got air conditioning in the car now. They'd say, that's not driving around. You know, what are you talking about? Yeah. You got all these nice things. In the- <laughs> yeah. I mean, so I mean, exactly. come on. So we're moving into the, we're in the 21st century, I guess. So, would, hey, tell us, uh, Aaron, tell us about <clears throat> what you would think, or uh, just from, I guess, what maybe what the, the, the uh, options people typically add on to theirs, or what you would say are maybe your top three or four uh, most popular or most valuable features that someone could, uh, you know, add on or utilize in, in their sure. garden. Well, you know, the blind. It, it, I'll say this, it comes standard with a couple shelves and a walling two gun rest that cradles the barrel of two guns. Uh, whether you've got a muzzle loader, shotgun, or a rifle, you know, the diameter's pretty good size. Uh, outside of that, I would say the most popular options to add on are number one is the folding bench rest table. And we modified that. Oh, we've had it for a couple of years, but we redesigned it so that the metal leg is actually welded to the table and it, and it goes straight down to the floor. Um, we can put a right-handed body cut out just like when you're at a shooting range or left-handed awesome. body cut out. And generally awesome. people order either just the right-handed body cut out or the ambidextrous. So the left and right-handed. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, it's kind of, kind of funny, but just in the last month or two, I've realized how, how many families have a left-handed uh, kid or a uh, family member that huh. will be hunting out of it. In fact, um, I have a daughter. I've got four kids, but I have a daughter that's left-handed. So uh, it, it's nice cool. to have that body cut out and then that welded leg. I mean, it's a, it's the same stout kind of metal that we use for uh, the tower platforms. And we don't use anything undersized. <clears throat> we go big or go home on the metal, everything on quality. So that's that table is very stout. And what's nice about it is you can move it fairly quickly. It slides on to the left and uh, you slide it back on, or slides off to the left. And then you can match it up to any other gun window in the blind and, and slide it on. Um, and that way you can transfer that table to any gun window in the blind. And we actually, about a month ago, we made a bracket so that you could actually mount it onto a bow window. So guys that uh, they cool. want their kids to, yeah, I mean, it, the, you know, the guys have young kids. they like, well, we want them to be able to see out of the window or, or they've got yeah. a, a gun bow combo, which is a popular option. Uh, they may have one gun window or one bow window and then they'll like, well, you know, I really want, I want to be able to use this bench table for over there if I need it for my kids. And well, we, we figured it out. We, we welded up a bracket. We do it in house. And it makes it where any window, regardless of gun or bow, we can move that table. Uh, so that's probably the number one popular item. Uh, number two is the blackout solar screens. Mm, yeah, uh, Those serve three or four purposes. Um, the number one thing that I've had issues in the past hunting out of blinds is being silhouetted in high pressure yep. hunting areas. You know, those deer that go to that feeder or that food plot every day, and all of a sudden they see this blob in there. Right. Uh, yep. That I, I've had a doe. I used to have this doe that would bust me 100 yards away. And this was 20 years ago, hunting out of a fiberglass blind up on a hill. And, you know, I had to glue on some uh, clothes pins and some old burlap just on the backside <laughs> to, to, yep. to, to make a makeshift uh, curtain behind me. Well, the blackout solar screens are nice because they hinge silently on the same type of hinges that the window hinges on, but they, they hinge opposite directions. So that allows you to fold back the solar screen over the window with wow. the glass window open. 
so oh. that allows you to get a breeze but still block out 80 percent of the sunlight 80 percent of the heat coming through the window blocks out bugs mm -hmm. uh yellow jackets while you're sitting in there and it allows you to uh you know low light situations you can fold them back but uh out of the way but the solar screens i mean i and i personally use them in all my blinds but you can see out they can't see in and it's just like those solar screens on the house you know you like look at those houses right. that face the west and you're like man i can't even see in the windows well it, yeah because those holes are designed to block the sunlight where <laughs> you right. can't see in their house but they can see you and right. it's the same concept all, all those solar screens are are, are uh, framed out and mm -hmm. they're done up really nice uh, we make them for the the gun windows or the bow windows and the door window and uh, I'm going to say 80%, 85% of the customers will either will get the folding bench rest table and the solar screens. That's hands down the most popular options. Uh, number three would be the new 24-inch wide gun window. And we came out with, up with that last October. Uh, before, we had a 16-inch wide gun window by 14-inch tall. And we sold a lot of blinds that way and i occasionally i get a guy that man i just want a wider window well the problem is when we frame these out you, you have a flat frame on a round surface mm -hmm. and oh. it just kind of sticks in or something that you have like, to do yeah yeah correct and so when before well i just had one customer that pushed me and pushed me to get this wider window so we tested it we had to make some tricks and modifications to make it work right but when you're making a 22 feet circumference and flattening out that much of the blind things start getting real tight and you know you can get your stuff <laughs> into a bind and and that's yeah. and, you know I, I always get these guys are like oh i'll just build my own i'm like you go ahead more power to you yeah we've built over a thousand yeah. of these things we've learned every trick in the book and we're not giving away our secrets because we do make the highest quality and best blind in the market but it it just well that 24 inch wide gun window really opens up the viewing space and some guys don't want that some guys are like well yeah. i'll just put one of them straight across from the door and the rest of them i'll keep the small gun windows or add some bow windows in there and, and some guys are like no i want i want five of these i want to open <laughs> this thing up you know i want to see all around me and that's fine you know with the solar screens you don't have to worry about being silhouetted so you can keep all, right. all your solar screens up whether the glass is open or shut and uh you know you can see out they can't see in and it's the ultimate stealth design and there's no other company that can do them functionally the way we do because our design allows for it those seems, are probably the highest yeah, pick the, items okay it seems to me that uh you know the more i'm i'm now in a stage where my my son, he's he, he's three now, but I'm, I want to start bringing him, you know, hunting, at least sit with me, uh, introducing him, you know, dipping his toe in, if you will, uh, this fall. Uh, and it seems to me two of the two features that aren't really, I guess one of them may be optional, you have to remind me, but that are really huge with tank blinds are the uh, sound proofing that you have. Yeah. And the uh, insulation that you have, because, you know, especially in Texas, right, at the beginning of deer season, sometimes it can be really hot. So, yeah, I know you can, you have the ability Correct. to, you could get like a, uh, I guess, like a swap cooler type AC system, I think, in there, right? But, and then, and then you want a heater maybe as it goes further on into the, to, uh, to the season. So we have those extremes that sometimes we deal with when we're sitting in, in blinds. But also, you know, if I'm having my son or anyone else has their, kid out there and you know they're not quite used to the whole concept of being quiet <laughs> to say the least you <laughs> yeah. know you, yeah. you you also have that ability can you speak to those two uh two uh features on, on there yeah well you know before i came up with the actual tank line shell design and i was making these out of water tanks you know the way i did my windows and the way i did the carpet on the inside well i use a nice thick carpet and that really helps with the sound absorption and any other blind you go look at, you're going to have this flat, grayish, darker blue indoor-outdoor carpet. It's in every blind out there that's on a, you know, manufactured-type business-type blind. And 
it doesn't absorb any sound. I mean, it a, a no. little bit, but it just helps break down, you know, a little bit of the gun the gun blast going off. Well, with with my blind, uh, I was sitting. I was actually bow hunting with my daughter, who was about three at the time, and and we, you probably know as well as I do, you got to have snacks when you get in the blind. Uh, <laughs> with with a two three four year old and she had her animal crackers and right about when you can start seeding deer at the feeder there were probably eight or ten of them in the morning hunt uh she choked all my windows were shut because with the windows shut you can remain 100 percent scent proof and you can open your window at any time uh, to take a shot so that's how i do that's how i do my setup and that's how i instruct everybody to but she started coughing and like a pretty significant choking not a Heimlich maneuver, but kind of situation. Right. But you know, she she was coughing, mm-hmm. and I just yeah. knew my whole hunt was busted. And I looked up, and not one deer was looking at me, and I, I couldn't oh, believe wow. it. So I knew I was really wow. onto something. And I even upgraded the carpet from that model to make it even more soundproof. And then we figured out the spray foam insulation, and we use right. commercial grade spray foam the kind you put in metal shops attics it's a closed cell foam that's real dense and it's on the on the roof and the walls and that spray foam you know a lot of companies like well they'll say their their blinds are insulated well what they're doing is they're they're going and buying these pink panther uh foam Mm -hmm. sheets and they and they put them in between the two layers of whatever material they're making you know whether it's fiberglass or or sheet metal and that's it's okay but it's not closed cell spray foam like ours is the real deal mm-hmm. and that spray foam really dampens down the sound it's basically with your window shut i mean my kids can talk to me we can carry on a conversation i had my three and four year old girl in there one time in the evening hunt we had it and they they wanted to have a dance party with music we played music otherwise they were going to start crying and ah, nice they were gonna, <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> And, and I, this is in my bow stand in October in the evening. I even had one of those little AC coolers made by Icy Breeze. They're really nice uh, where they you put ice in them. They've got a condenser on the inside, and, and it kicks out cold air that's dehumidified. It's brilliant, and we do sell those. Okay. Uh, but those work Those work phenomenal. Awesome. But, yeah, the, the, the way that we do the windows, they're completely silent hinged. They seal up tight. They never collect water they they never leak it's a seamless design there's there's no there's nothing with our product that is flawless the shell is rated for 23 years 100 percent uv resistance it's got an inner half layer that's a carbon black layer that absorbs all 100 percent uv sunlight so when you're in your blind there's no sunlight bleeding through the shell unlike all the other poly tank type blind companies you'll see the sun uh-huh in the in the sky and it lights you up like a light bulb so our layer is completely black on the inside whether you know your blind is either tan we have a tan or green uh, exterior color and the inner half is that that black layer so it, it you know conceals your uh, it conceals yourself you, you're not being lit up by the the sun shading and that that layer that's telling you about this 100 percent uv resistant uh, we we actually add something to that when it's molded so that the spray foam sticks to it on a molecular level and it by preventing any sunlight from penetrating that shell that spray foam will never go bad if you didn't have that layer the the uv light coming through the shell will break your spray foam down and in a couple of years you'll start seeing it crumble on the floor mm. so we we really take a lot of pride in making these to make make them the longest lasting product the least amount of maintenance scent type water type maintenance free i i really don't know what else you would want in a blind I, you know it, it's got the space for four grown adults to hunt you can take your wife and two three four kids i've slept <laughs> me and my wife and three kids when there was no space at the hotel and i forgot to make a reservation and we just turned on a little buddy heater and cracked a couple windows and we slept great you know nice. i mean they're young i mean we're <laughs> All right. You know, it's it's come a long way, and I will give credit to a lot of our customers that have pushed me and my team to design these things. 
and really they've given us a lot of the ideas you know the bench rest table was an idea from a guy said i'm only going to buy five lines from you if you can figure out how to make this bench rest table and that's a good motivation I, uh, one of my <laughs> what's that that's a good motivation but it's also now yeah yeah that you created a great, exactly one of the most popular features that's yeah it is and then one of my first customers that bleed to my product from day one who bought probably one of the first five we ever made about four years ago uh, he he's a window guy and he gave me the idea for solar screens and at first we were velcroing the solar screen onto the glass then we were like oh, man we gotta that's okay but we need to make it where it can fold a different way so you can get it to you know fold over the glass when the glass is shut or fold over the window opening with glasses opening so we made that happen uh, the spray foam i was i swore i was not going to do spray foam and you know I, again i had another customer saying well i only want i'm only going to buy blinds from you if they're insulated so we <laughs> we figured that out so i really i mean our customer base has been our success uh the word of mouth the, the innovation of ideas yeah we figured out how to make things happen uh, and I also go back to the bench rest table that will fit onto the bow window. That was uh, inspired by a customer that wanted that. And it's just neat how in four, well, three and a half, four years, how this has evolved. And, you know, we're making oh, well over 500 blinds a year. And we're shipping these to New York, Minnesota. Uh, we've got blinds in almost every state in the Midwest wow. and in the South. Nice. Awesome. And we, we, yeah, we, uh, we're, we're starting a lot of things. And, and I will say back in February, I've been wanting to make an ice fishing version of this blind out of the mold <laughs> oh, for yeah. a long awesome. time. And, and yeah, we, we, we made it happen. We actually have a, a dealer in upstate New York around the Finger Lakes. that's going to, uh, start carrying them. And we sent, we're sending our proto, our first prototype up there and, it's got four holes in the floor. It's on a it's got ski sleds. It's insulated. Oh, how cool! It can double as a hunting blind. <laughs> that's awesome. Or oh, that's a awesome. fishing blind. We're uh, we're going to start gradually getting that into getting some orders and perfecting that model. So very uh, cool. We, you yeah, know, that, it's, that it's is fun. A, that it's is a, a fun great business. idea. That that it tell is, you that is a great idea, and and you know areas. Yeah, it's funny. When you were saying ice fishing, I immediately thought, you know, Wisconsin, Minnesota, you know, North Dakota, all the places that sound like that. Um, <laughs> didn't even think about New York. That's crazy. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. yeah. Was, well, it's, it's something I've always wanted to do, around the, ice fish. Have, well, you, have you gone ice it's fishing? It's funny. Yeah. I've, I've ice fished one time out yeah. of a homemade ice shanty shack uh, in Michigan, right. okay. and I enjoyed it, you know. Yeah. It, you know, you have to bundle up, and you're out there on run out there on the ice and get one of those tip up type lines, and it, you know, inside, you know, a lot of guys just huddle out, get a little cold adult beverage, <laughs> and, and uh, just relax and get out of the house. You know, up there, you know, they're they're stuck in the house because the cold, just like oh, we're, yeah. we're stuck Jeez. inside when it when it's so hot yeah. down here, and they yep. just, they just need to get out. But it's a cool design because you know you can use it for hunting. October, November, and then when the lakes start freezing up early December, and that kicks off, uh, you can you can tow it, uh, slide it out there on the ice. Um, we even have a drain plug in the bottom in case you spill a minnow bucket. You know, there's there's a lot of things we we thought of, and I think it's really going to go far. And I've just been a little cautious to just throw it out there and be like taking orders because we're so busy with the hunting blinds and. Yeah. Yeah, you got to be careful to not overextend yourself, and and your staff. It's definitely well, going good, and you know we're on Ted Nugent's hunting show now, and me and him have become pretty good friends. And oh yeah, tell us about spent that. Spent my awesome. birthday out there at his ranch, and oh, he's, cool. he's a cool <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, that's very cool. So he's he has uh, several of your blinds on his ranch. Yes, he does. Yeah, and he shot a monstrositous buck out of it on one of his episodes um, and it was actually off the four foot skid platform with some bow windows and and he loves them i mean they're nice they're uh they're real neat and he shot a crow out of one of them <laughs> he's like 
If you can shoot a crow with a bow out of a blind, you know you're concealed. Because they, <laughs> yeah, I was, I was going to say, eyesight. I was going to say that that's not an easy feat. Those things are, uh, they're they're not the dumb ignoramus bird that people think they are. They're they're pretty damn intelligent. Oh yeah. What? Well, yeah. Well, that's that's cool. That's awesome. Well, I mean. You know, going back to the options, you got basically everything I I could possibly think of. I know you're probably thinking of more things as as you go along, and your customers are probably giving you more ideas. So that's really awesome. Um, yeah. And if people, I mean, if they have ideas, obviously, you know, anyone listening, you know, if you're interested, and in, if, if you're in the market for a new, a new blind, now you got to consider, you know. Uh, you, know, you if you go cheap, then you're you, you know you get what you pay for, right? But if you you know you invest exactly. in, in a blind like a tank blind, you know something that lasts for darn near forever. You know you, you you invest in that, you get the options that you want up front, and you'll enjoy it for, for forever. You know, so you don't have to mess with that anymore, right? I mean, it's that's your your baby, your your blind out there, and uh and and like Aaron was saying, he has you you got all pretty much. Oh, darn there, like I said, any every option that I could think of, but uh, it's just really cool. I mean, uh, um, what is there anything else you'd like to, you know, tell the folks about? Uh, anything kind of e- either new coming up or just, you know, tell, tell us about well, what, what's uh, what's in the future. And and then also let us know, you know, how, how let folks know how they can uh, get, a, get in touch with you. Yeah. So, man, as far as the future goes, I mean, this whole virus thing is, I think everybody is concerned and also with the election coming up, you know, we don't know what's going to happen to the economy. They're printing all this money out for all these bailouts and Mm -hmm. it's just, we don't know the long term. but from what I've been able to tell, people are figuring out ways to buy these blinds uh, in the midst of an economic, probably the worst disaster we've seen since the depression. I mean, that's what I've been told. (laughs) This is the worst Mm -hmm. I've seen in my lifetime. I'm 37. Um, But, you know, we're we're going to keep cranking them out and keep meeting the demand. Uh, we, you know, I've always said I'd like to stick to a certain number every year and then just take orders. Uh, but, you know, we want everybody to be able to have an opportunity to get a blind last minute. So we've actually ramped up production to have blinds in stock uh, ready to go. If It may not be exactly the window configuration you're looking for, but uh, if you need one tomorrow, well, we, we have some blinds. We We've actually increased our dealer base so that uh, you can just go to a dealer that's close to you. We understand time is money, and sometimes you don't have time to drive from South Texas to Weatherford uh, mm-hmm. by Fort Worth. So we've actually got a dealer down in Freer, Texas. Uh, we have a dealer in Lamb Passes. And I know that you can contact you guys, right, and, yep. and place an order with y'all. And and Jimmy and will will communicate with me and and we'll get exactly what you want. Uh, we also, uh, a lot of customers, can, we, we've got a showroom with various models with all the different window options and custom options, and you can pick and choose what works for you. We don't ever have to pressure anybody to, to make a sale. It, mm-hmm. Usually the customer either sees it and already has their mind made up, or you know, it, the, the product itself sells itself. And that's what's nice. You come to our shop, we're not gonna give you this you know, use car salesman pitch and try to, you know, sell you all these options that you don't want or need. If you want a basic, basic blind, we'll sell you a basic blind. And if you want it done out with spray foam, bench, rest table, screens, carpet floor padding, lights, uh, extra shelving, cup holders, dark carpet. I mean, we've got a lot of options. I mean, and we do. We sell a, a lot of those blinds that you know, they want everything, but you can come to our shop if you've got a unique setup where you need a bow window at the nine o'clock position and you want gun windows at uh, the remaining window positions. We'll make it exactly how you need it for your ranch or your your hunting style. And there's just no other company out there that does that. They have five models, and you pick one, two, three, four, five, and you hope that that works for you. Not with us. You get exactly what you want exactly what you need the way you set it up and we build it custom specific for you and it's the highest quality product you're going to find and for the amount of space you're getting go price other these other big companies and you're going to find you're going to be spending the same amount of money 
as you are with a higher quality product that's that's built for you and yeah so that's that's basically all i really have to say and 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 oh i will say this uh, we are introducing financing for the guys that uh you know they may want four or five of these blinds and you know that may be 15 to $25,000 depending on what you want and you know it's it's usually about 5 to 600 dollars down per blind and then you can finance it on your terms whatever you need for up to 8 years so it may only be 60 70 dollars a month per blind and we're able to do that uh, we're able to finance them for 8 years because of the longevity that the blind that will it'll sustain so a lot of these other companies, they can't do that because their blinds, no. fiberglass and all that break right. down starting around year five sure. or six. And by year 10, it's brittle as can be. And uh, so, yeah, I have a finance company that's done their research. They've looked at our products and are backing us because they believe in our product. They understand how resilient these are. And they're like, yeah, let's let's uh, be your financing uh, partner and and you know, I, I am asked pretty often if I have had finance options. And I'm like, no, really don't. I, I personally wouldn't know how to do that. I'm not a finance guy. Uh, right. It's usually just half down, half down when you order and half down when you, or the other half when you pick it up. So that is a n- nice new option that we'll, we'll be uh, holding here. And so I guess that being said, uh, you know, we're, we're going to keep cranking out. We're going to, Hopefully, this virus thing settles down and we'll actually have the Hunters Extravaganza shows in 2021. We're very bummed yep. about not yep. having those shows. I mean, oh, uh, we, we are sure here. every yeah every hunter I'm sure is, <laughs> is bummed yeah. about that. But uh, no, I mean that's uh, that financing option basically uh, makes it no a no brainer, no excuse, I guess, for someone who's really wanting to, you know, to get a new blind and really make that investment and. If anyone's listening and you are in that market, you know, now's the time to go ahead and get one and, you know, get it out to your ranch and get it, do the work you need to do to, to you know, clear your lanes or do whatever it is. We've been harping on, you know, doing that work uh, this summer. Yes, it's hot, but you got to do what you got to do to to get your, uh, yeah. your, your trophy deer, right? I mean, so, but uh, also, well, also, Aaron, uh, thank you so much for coming back on. Uh, we just want to tell the folks, yes, sir. Uh, you know, you can... Uh, as he mentioned, uh, you can they can give you a call directly still, right? Or go to your website and then give you a shout yeah, from there. Yeah, tank, yeah, tankblinds.com. And we've also got a Facebook page, an uh, Instagram page. Uh, and, you know, uh, or email us at sales, S A L E S, sales at tankblinds.com, T A N K B L I N D S.com. And we'll, uh, we're, pretty prompt i've got a manager now and we between both of us it takes both of us full time to answer emails and calls so uh we if if we don't answer or get back to you for some reason your email got lost because we respond to everyone we double check we really try hard uh, to make sure that our customer service is top notch perfect perfect and yeah and folks can also yeah absolutely and folks can also get to you through through us feedbandit.com so there's a lot of different ways. So no excuse out for folks out there. Uh, if you're in the market for a blind, check them out yep. and get, get the one you've always been dreaming dreaming of. You know, with all the features you've always been dreaming of. Uh, you got anything else, Richard, for Aaron? Yeah, I think I'm good, man. Congrats on the business, and yeah, uh, I'm glad things are glad things are going well. I mean, there's a reason why you thank you, sir, are doing so well. So keep it up, man. All right, yeah, man, I appreciate it. Thank thank y'all for having me. All right, folks, that was Aaron Gilbert with Tank Blinds. Uh, highly suggest everyone out there uh, checks, up, checks out Tank Blinds, especially, I mean, if you're in the, in the market for a blind, I mean, that, that is one of those things that, uh, you know, after sitting in many different kind of blinds, I'm sure you might agree with this, yeah. uh, Richard, that yeah. it's worth putting the investment in to something like that because the maintenance over time, especially in the Texas sun and the winters, how yeah. the extremes and everything – Man. Oh yeah, and get the features you want to make it comfortable. You know, I mean, that's yeah. I mean, blind should be like cars, you know, and trucks where you where you can add what you want to. You know, you shouldn't be forced to kind of to kind of just settle. You know, and uh, 
No, I, I agree. The, the comfortability factor is, is, is huge, especially with kids, too. Let's not forget. Mm-hmm. I mean, God, more than more than ever, we, we've been harping on. We got to get our kids involved. And, you know, if you if you can if you can spend a little bit of money to keep both you and them comfortable and have a good, positive experience. I mean, I think it's well worth it. Yeah, absolutely. So anybody out there, you know, you're in the market, you, you owe it to yourself to at least check them out and yep. consider consider them look through all the options that they have uh you go to tankblinds.com uh you can also go to feedbandit.com slash tank blinds and that will actually take you to our feed bandit uh gear page for tank blinds where we lay out a lot of the, a lot of uh the options and things that you can do uh you can see a couple videos of of the features that we talked about on the podcast um, and then you can kind of read through the kind of the overview of, of what's available uh, on a base model, plus all the, you can see a list of the customizations. And uh, when you're there, you'll be able to check out a special kind of discount that you'd be able to get when you when you get a tank blind. Um, so go head over to uh, feedbandit.com slash tank blinds, or just go to feedbandit.com and go to the gear page and you can see uh, the link to tank blinds amongst other, uh, some of the other uh, gear folks that we're uh, we work with so to uh head on over there and be sure to do that uh you got anything else uh corn bandit that's that's about it pray for Uh, the rain man uh, pray for the rain so no uh no patrol police cars driven around uh looking at you suspiciously no 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 no, no, absolutely not it's crazy (laughs) i'm pushing my luck i better get out of here there you go well same same here so with that, we'll sign off, and uh, everybody out there, uh, get yourself a tank line and support your local feed store. Take care. Thanks for listening to the Feed Bandit Podcast. If you like what we discuss on the show, be sure to sign up to our email list to get even more killer hunting ideas, tips, tricks, and exclusive deals on innovative hunting gear and services delivered straight to your inbox. Sign up over at feedbandit.com or simply by texting the word bandit to 33777. See you on the next one. And remember, support your local feed store.